Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is authority check. Many times people use the term authorization check. Many times people simply use the word authorization also. So we will discuss what is the need, what is the significance or what is the importance of authority check. So firstly, what is authority check or what is authorization? It is a concept which enables or which allow users to perform the certain activities or function in the SAP system. It is a concept with the help of that only a user can perform the certain activities or function in the SAP system. Now the first question comes into everyone mind. What do you mean by activities or function? Suppose I am creating a material in the SAP system. That is an activity. And why I am able to create a material? Because I have the authorization. System is checking. Are you authorized or not? If I am authorized, after that only I will be able to create a material. Suppose I am creating a sales order. I am changing a sales order. I am changing a material. So whenever you are doing any activity, system is checking. Are you authorized or not? If you are authorized, after that only system will allow you to do that activity or function. So this whole process which is checking for the authorization is called as authority check. Word itself is saying it will check for the authorization. Are you authorized or not? And in this real world, yes, authorization is very, very important. Because a user can only do certain set of activities. A user cannot do all set of activities. Suppose simple example. I am applying a leave in the system. So if I am applying a leave, am I authorized to approve my leave also? This is never the case. Only my manager is authorized to approve my leave. So in this whole world, authorization plays a vital role. And in this SAP, we have a dedicated process which will check for the authorization and that is called as authority check. Now, now in this whole process of authority check or authorization, how SAP is handling this authority check with the help of authorization object. So this whole process of authorization check is handled or achieved through authorization object. Now many people will think you are saying yes this whole process is handled through authority check. So how system is doing that? How system? So what we will do? We will simply simply create the authorization object. Yes. We will provide that authorization object to the SAP basis person. SAP basis person will assign to my user ID. There is a separate process how that SAP basis person is assigning. If that authorization object is assigned to my user ID, after that only I will be able to do that particular thing. Else, I will not be able to do that particular thing. Because third sentence is all about after creating the authorization object, these authorization object are assigned to the user. After that, only a user can do the work in the system. Suppose simple example, MM01. In MM01, system is checking that do you have the authorization for that authorization object? If that authorization object is assigned to your user ID, after that only you will be able to create a material, else you will not be able to create a material. Anyways, we our, our task is only to create authorization object 
writing the logic because ultimately assigning the authorization object to a particular user is SAP basis person responsibility. They have a separate process to create a role. Then they will assign to our user ID. Now, now in this whole process of authority check, we'll go for important terminology. And this terminology will play a vital role whenever we start with the practical part. So various terminology in the process of authority check are as follows. So what is the first terminology? Object class. You can also remember by authority object class. So what is authority object class? It is a container for the authorization object. Just so suppose simple example. I am creating a function module. Before that, I am always creating a function group. So what is function group? It is a container for the function module. Yes, you can store 99 function module into the function group. You can create one time and then you can store the function module into that. Same thing is here. We will create the object class and whenever we are creating authorization object, we will store into that object class. So it is a container for the authorization object. Now, after that, we will create the authorization object. Word itself is saying authorization object object. Ultimately, whatever the whole process of authorization or authorization check is there, it is an object which will check the authorization. We will create the object which will check for the authorization. Now we have the third thing, authorization field field. Now many people will ask why, why there is a need of the authorization field. Just think, what is field? Field means column. Are you authorized for that field value or field column or, or are you authorized for that field value or column value? Suppose simple example, I will go for a requirement. Suppose I am saying user one is only authorized for those records where payment mode is equal to C. Just understand how I am saying yes. User 1 is only authorized for those records or user 1 can only, dis only see that those records where payment mode is C. Suppose I am saying user 2 can only see that those records where payment mode is D. Suppose I am saying user 3 is only only can display those records where payment mode is equal to N. So just see, suppose I created a authorization object. So in the authorization object, we will go for authorization field. What is the authorization field payment mode? And what are the various values of that authorization field? C, T and N. And we will assign, basis person will assign that this particular person can only see those records where payment mode is C. This user can only see those records where payment mode is D. This user can only see those records where payment mode is N. So what is authorization field? It is in the authorization object. And why we need authorization field? So that we can assign, we can go for authorization at the field level, column level. Suppose in the current example, your field is what? Payment mode. And what are the various values? C, T and N. So what is authorization field? Authorization field is the part of authorization object which is used to define the field value or column value. So in this case, what is our field? Our field is payment mode. And what are the various values C, T and N. Anyways, whenever we start with the practical part, I will show you how we can assign the field values. Now, 
if I will go for the simple process, simple understanding. Object class is a container for the authorization object. So in the object class, we have the authorization object. And in the authorization object, we have the authorization field where we will define the field name or column name with their respective values. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with a new topic and the topic is authority check. Word itself is saying authorization check or simply authorization which will check for the authorization that are you authorized or not. And what is authority check or authorization? With the help of this only, a user can perform the certain activities or function. And that is logical also in real world. How a user can do everything, ultimately that user will hamper the system. So there must be a authorization check. Are you authorized or not? Now, this whole process or concept of authority check, we achieve through in or we achieve in SAP through authorization object. Once you create the authorization object, SAP basis person will assign that authorization object to your user ID with the help of role because they will assign, they will create some role. That's a different process itself and that is done by SAP basis person. Now we we'll discuss the various terminology. Object class is it is a container for the authorization object. Authorization object will check for the authorization. Then in the author authorization object, we have the authorization field where we will define the column or field with the respective values. So how the process is object class has the authorization object, authorization object has the authorization field. Now in the next video, firstly, for, for the best clarity, we will discuss the transaction codes. I will take an example with the help of debugging and then we will start with the practical part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.